Hi, I'm Brittany Dunn, and this is my philosophy of nursing video. Um, I want to give you a little bit of background on myself to help you understand how I've informed um, creating my philosophy of nursing. Um, so I'm entering nursing as a second career, and that really gives me hindsight to kind of look back on my life's work and think about what brought me here. Um, I spent eight years as an educator, and in that time, I realized what called me most to my work was really the caring that I provided for my students and their families and the communities that we were a part of. Um, I am also a mother to two children, and I feel like I've really flourished in caring for them and navigating all of the really messy and entertaining and lovely pieces that come with uh, caring for tiny humans. And um, through all of that past work, both teaching and um, with my own children, I, I think that it, I've really learned that connecting um, empathetically to others in need and, and providing this care um, is what brought me here and, and, um, and helped me formulate this philosophy that I'm about to share with you. Um, so what is nursing and why does nursing exist? Um, I see nursing as the care of holistic health of humans and communities um, through healthcare and through advocacy. And um, I think that when I was trying to think about these things, I, I came to three main concepts that nursing is about knowledge, skills, and caring. And, um, and I helped formulate this from Finkelman um, textbook about professional roles of nursing uh, published in 2019. And um, really, you know, nursing is, it's necessary to have knowledge in nursing to inform critical thinking and approaches to problem solving. Um, nursing requires skills and competencies to navigate the many roles that nurses fill to provide meaningful and effective care. And then along with those knowledge and skills, caring uh, for me is a really implicit part of nursing, bringing compassion and care for others in their work. Um, I also explored um, in 2019, Miller published um, an exploration of nursing as a, um, you know, was it a calling or a choice and kind of looking at um, at why people come to nursing. And this really resonated with me that the compassion for me is a huge part of nursing. Um, and I think that nursing exists because it brings an element of holistic care to our medical care system. Um, Robinson in 2013 ex examines, um, you know, what, what the unique role of nursing is and that, you know, nursing allows us to look at healthy environments and health maintenance and not only approach health as um, something like an illness that you present with at, that's physical, that there are a lot of things that go into that nursing can um, can work can work with people. And um, Vega and Hayes in 2019 also um, explored um, another aspect of nursing, which I think is the, you know, emotional and physical piece. And when I say holistic, they explored the art and science of nursing. So nursing, we have the scientific background, um, but we also look at the emotional and spiritual health of our patients. And that's a really important piece. And I think that that's why nursing exists. Um, I chose nursing as a career because I um, was pregnant and I was just really amazed at what our bodies did. And I wanted to explore more of that. And so I became a doula and I um, went to help people in having their own children and, and birthing their own babies. And I think that um, along that process, I was able to see what um, nurses were able to do and what kind of care they were able to provide. And I, I wanted to be the person doing that. Um, I uh, bring all of that, you know, past experience, as I mentioned, I was also a teacher. I've worked as a doula. I am a parent. And I think that, um, that it's become a calling for me to kind of provide this holistic um, care to people, you know, seeing their physical, emotional, and spiritual health and, and community health and seeing how it's all connected and how my philosophy of nursing allows me to provide all of those things. Um, so as I, as I mentioned that, in what setting do I desire to practice nursing? Obviously, I have this background in, um, in birth support, and I really want to be in, um, in labor and delivery or in women's health and, and supporting in that realm. But I also think that, um, that it's important for me to approach that lens from this holistic person and community approach. And, and I think that that might be unique in settings such as hospital settings um, where we don't get to, you know, sometimes build these long relationships with people or understand them in a holistic way. And just um, that I think it's important to have people who have the philosophy that I do in those roles too, um, and to share that and, and bring that piece into their practice. Um, so when I think about what beliefs I hold about patients and the communities in which they reside, um, I do think that beliefs really um, impact the way that we interact with people. Um, so I 
I really believe um, that everyone, every person that I work with, every patient that I work with is deserving of compassion and respect. So um, again, in the Code of Ethics, the American Nurses Association outlines provision one, that the nurse practices with compassion and respect for the inherent dignity, worth, and the unique attributes of every person. And I think that it couldn't be put more simply for me that I believe that each person is worthy of dignity and respect and that that um, belief is going to um, color every interaction that I have with patients. Um, I also think when I think about my beliefs about um, other health professionals and is this provision eight, again, from the code of ethics that the nurse collaborates with other health professionals in the public to protect human rights, promote health diplomacy and reduce health disparities. And I think that, um, you know, going into my interactions with each, um, with other healthcare providers with the belief that they are here to do this work too, that that is, um, that that is an important basis to understand how we are going to work together um, to make these changes in our healthcare system and to help people. Um, so in the context of nursing practice, my beliefs about person environment and health um, are formulated. I really, you know, I was looking into it and trying to put into words what I, what I thought about each of these things. Um, Fawcett in 1984 introduced these concepts of person, environment, and health to describe the fundamental building blocks of the nursing domain. And um, I really found that Newman's system theory helped me describe these concepts. So Newman's system theory looks at the person, not as just an individual person, but it, it's kind of a composite of physiological, psychological, sociocultural, spiritual variables in, or in interaction with an environment. Um, Finkelman um, in a published textbook in 2019 really outlines this um, theory and um, that allows me, that aligns with my view of seeing patients holistically, understanding that they're influenced not only by their presenting physical health, but by emotional and community health among other factors. Um, and so that leads me right into environment. So seeing that um, environment is, you know, it's intertwined with the, with person and, and community that, um, that people's health and people's experiences are a part of their environment and the environment impacts them and they impact their environment and, um, and that their community influences on health that are really important to understand in nursing practice. And then finally, um, I think my definition of health is, it goes right along with those is that health is, um, you know, health is part of community health and personal health. It's mental health. It's physical health. Um, it is, it is, you know, different depending on the context, but that it is inter interconnected with so many other um, variables and that needs to be understood. Um, some challenges that I feel like I might encounter as a nurse, especially when I think about, um, you know, talking about what I've discussed, just looking at people holistically and looking at how communities really and societies really impact health is um, that, you know, working within a system that disadvantages many people can be really difficult. I know that from my previous work as a teacher, um, it, to work within a system where you're trying to make changes can really bring burnout really quickly um, when you don't see the fruit of your effort or when you don't always see the meaningful work that you're doing making an impact. That can just be really hard and I think that's a huge challenge. So again, I found um, this, you know, the provision five from the American Nurse Association Code of Ethics outlines that the nurse owes the same duties to self as to others, including the responsibility to promote health and safety, preserve wholeness of character and integrity, maintain competence, and continue personal and professional growth. And I think that that's really important is that I have this you know, belief of my patients and the communities that I am going to be working with as being worthy of dignity and respect. And, and I need to maintain that for myself as well in order to um, complete this meaningful work. Um, so thank you for listening. I think that this has been a really helpful exercise for me to outline my own philosophy of nursing as I enter the profession. These are my references and I'll also attach them at the bottom of the video. Thanks.